season series. This is the rubber game. Both teams have won four in the season series. Kind of a windy night here at Dodger Stadium under overcast skies. Temperature is hot, 94 degrees. The humidity is 62%. The winds are kicking up to about 20 miles per hour, windier than it usually is here at Dodger Stadium. And the Dodgers are taking the field. Terry Francona's starting lineup for the Phils tonight. Doug Glanville in center field leadoff. Kevin Sepsik, right fielder, bat second. Scott Rowland at third base will hit third. Kevin Jordan, first base, batting fourth. Mark Lewis at second base hits fifth. Wendell McGee, the left fielder, batting sixth. Bobby Astelea will catch and hit seventh. Desi Reliper to shortstop, batting eighth. Tyler Green, the pitcher, hitting ninth. Len Hoffman's defense for the Dodgers. Adrian Beltre will be at third base. Mark Gresselanik at shortstop. Juan Castro at second. Eric Karros at first. Charles Johnson catching. Roger Cedeno on left field. Raul Mondesi in center. Matt Luke and right. And on the mound is 27-year-old Carlos Perez. Carlos Perez is 7-13 with the 4.13 earned run average in 29 starts. He's got 198 in the third innings, 216 hits. 91 earned runs. He's walked 53, struck out 96. He's also given up 18 home runs. Opponents are hitting 278 off him. Lefty's 302. It kind of takes away that split finger and change up from him. Righty's at 272. And with the Dodgers, the Dodgers are 0 6 in his six starts since they got him here. With the Dodgers himself, he's 0 3. His record is 0 3, but that earned run average 5.91. 35 innings, 39 hits, which is probably about right for him, but 20 walks is a lot. He has pitched well against the Phillies. He is 2 and 1 this year against the Phillies with a 1 2 7 ERA. The umpires for tonight's game. The crew chief, Terry Tater, will call the balls and strikes. Wally Bell at first base. Terry Meals at second, and Paul Nard at third. And you see the Dodgers one game under 500. The Phillies are seven under 500. Phillies hitting better than Los Angeles. Los Angeles not scoring a whole lot of runs this year. Only Pittsburgh and Montreal, Arizona, and Florida have scored fewer runs than the Dodgers, but their pitching has been pretty good. Their staff ERA is sixth best in the league. Glenn, Doug Glanville leads it off for the Phillies. Well, that offense of the Dodgers has not helped Carlos Perez. He's gotten a second worst run support in the National League. It's combined with Montreal also. You see Blair with the Yankees with the lowest. I mean with the uh, Mets. I'm sorry. And Perez second there at 3.17. Bouncing ball cut off by Beltre and he throws out Doug Glanville. Now Glanville is out on a ground ball that Beltre wisely cut off. Would have been a tough play for Dresselani. That'll bring up Kevin Sepsik. 48th anniversary wishes tonight to Joe and Doris Martin in Philadelphia. Also celebrating their 40th, 48th anniversary are Ernest and Betty Woolridge of Wilmington, Delaware. One and nothing to Kevin Sepsik. Two balls and no strikes. Gene Palmore of Brookhaven, Pennsylvania, here for the series against the Dodgers. Javi Abreu getting the night off against this left-hander. Two balls and a strike to Kevin Sepsik. Sepsik's really, really had a good month of August in 20 games. He had 4.33. He fouls it down the first base side out of play. Two and two. Change up hit on the ground a deep shortstop Gresselani. That's Sepsik by his stride. That's two down. And it will bring up Scott Rowland. 
Carlos Perez is the fifth brother to pitch in the major leagues. Pasqual pitched in the major leagues. Melito, Valerio for Kansas City, Vladimir, and Carlos at age 27. His other four brothers were right handed. Lost a high foul out of play. Speaking of Vladimir, he just got a new contract. A, was it a four or five year five year deal? I that think, was wasn't it. That was Guerrero. Vladimir. Who? I was talking oh, about geez. Vladimir Perez. Boy, <laughs> Carlos's brother. Vapor but, lock. <laughs> but yes, Vladimir Guerrero did sign a five year, twenty eight point five million dollar contract. How about Vladimir Perez? <laughs> what what he get? He is he is now out of baseball. <laughs> High pop into shallow right field coming on is Luke and he makes the play in the one two three inning for Carlos Perez. No runs, hits, errors, and none left. After one half, Bills nothing. Dodgers coming. Bills failed in the top half of the first. Glenn Hoffman starting lineup for the Dodgers in the bottom half of first. Roger Cedeno leads off. Mark Resolani at shortstop at second. Raul Mondesi center fielder hitting third. Eric Karros at first base bats fourth. Matt Luke and Right field hitting fifth, Adrian Beltre, the third baseman, bat six. Charles Johnson catching hitting seventh. Juan Castro at second base, bats eight. Carlos Perez, the pitcher, hitting ninth. Phillies line up defensively with Scott Roll on the third, Desi Relliford shortstop, Mark Lewis at second, Kevin Jordan at first. Now he has to lay a catching Wendell McGee in left field, Doug Glanville in center, and Kevin Sussick in right, and Tyler Green on the mound. Tyler's coming off of that great game in San Francisco after being out for a month, six and eight. He's a 4.65 earned run average, 133 and two-thirds innings, 114 hits. Walks still have always been kind of high for Tyler. Opponents hitting 231 off of him. Doesn't have enough innings to qualify for the league leaders, but that would be fifth in the league. Dodgers have hit him kind of hard this year. He has lost two games to Dodgers, one to Chan Ho Park here at Dodger Stadium. And drive into right field. Sussex hardly has to move, and Roger Sedano is retired. The Dodgers have hurt him with a long ball. They have hit four home runs off him this year. Todd Zeal now departed. He hit one. Raul Mondesi hit two, and Eric Karras hit one. Here's Grasolani hitting at 273. Joseph Servino of Formerly worked at Chai Park, celebrating a birthday tomorrow. Originally from Kensington, now living in Merchantville, New Jersey. Joseph, 87 years of age. Mark McGuire has hit two more tonight as St. Louis bombed Florida 14 to 4, and he now has 59. Wow. Big Mac could probably reach it in a week. Sosa with his 56 today also. Cubs will stay on top of the National League wild card race. We're seeing a guy right there, that number 28, who has given up a home run to each of those two hitters this year. Two to Sammy Sosa in one game. Also gave up one to McGuire. One of two Phillies pitchers that have given up a home run to both Sosa and McGuire this year. Three and one here to Mark Resolani. Walked in. Too many walks for Tyler. That's the 67th base on balls he has issued. Dodgers have not hit all that well at 253. Only Florida, Montreal, and Arizona have hit lower. Our homers are up there at 138. Not bad. And they're third in the league in stolen bases with 119. Here's Raul Mondesi. Hitting a 283, 29 home runs. Four for 16 against Tyler Green. Four for 15, rather. Two of those four have been home runs hit this year. A 
The ball and no strikes sent along our best to Charlie Rowan, the banjo man, security guard, the Philadelphia Phillies veteran stadium press box area. Charlie having a cardiac catheterization test. Passed it well, we understand. One on the count to Raul Mondesi. We're in the bottom of the first, nothing, nothing. Close play at first base, Kresselanik diving back safely. He just got back too. Tyler's shown a quick move. The key to it is quick feet. Those feet, see how quick they are. Boy, you know what? I think Kevin Jordan tagged too soon. He tried to make a little sweep there and Gresolani goes, as to lay his throw, bounces up there, hits the runner, stolen base. Gresolani is 16. Only Houston and Pittsburgh has stolen more bases this year than the Dodgers. Gresolani got a pretty good jump. Esty comes up, decent pitch to throw on. Just bounces up a little short. So they're trying to get Esty to have quick feet down there, and not be so long with his arm. He does. It looks like he's slow. I mean, he's he feels like he's quick, but he's trying to get a little different footwork going. Two balls and a strike to Mondesi. The knuckle curve comes over the top of his head. Three and one. Well, this is something last week Tyler had pretty good command of that knuckle curve. This one just gets away. And good thing Mondesi got down as low as he did because that ball kept following his head. Three balls and a strike to Raul Mondesi. In the 3-1 knuckle curve, it looked like a full count to him. Not giving in to Mondesi, who has hit a couple of home runs off Tyler. Well, it could be a changeup or a knuckle curve. I think that was a changeup where he yeah. just got in front. That's the one pitch that Tyler, when he gets in trouble, when he needs to throw a strike, he'll throw that. He's shown he's at probably better command of that than this fastball or knuckle curve. Another off speed pitch and struck him out. So that's out number two. To change up again. This is something that you know Tyler's had great command of that this year. It's the one pitch that he can go to when he's struggling with his fastball and knuckle curve. Brings on Eric Karras is hitting a 286. 20 homers, 78 RBIs. Strike to Karras. Lawrence Fields of Liverick, Pennsylvania, celebrating an 81st birthday on this September 2nd. And a happy 52nd birthday to William Buzz Arnold from his wife Judy and the kids Bill, Pat, and Mary Ann. Buzz and Judy have been big Phil's fans their whole life from Trooper PA. Two and one the count to Eric Karras. Rasalonic at second base. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Well, a nothing nothing game. Look pretty well to right field. Sepsig back, leaps up, makes a great catch to end the inning. What a fine play by Kevin Sepsig. Against the fence, timed his lead perfectly, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. After one, it's nothing. Nothing will lead it off. He's the right fielder, followed by Adrian Beltre and then Charles Johnson. Luke hit a changeup off the end of the bat, a fly ball to Sefcik in right field. Seth made a real good play early in this game. A ball hit by Eric Karras. Looked like it might even be a home run when it left the bat. Bobby Estalea behind the plate. Mark Parent with a, what's that word? Sub Sublex. Subluxation, sub, sub, what anyway, his shoulder the popped out. Sublex thing on his left shoulder. Yeah, it popped out. So Bobby catching tonight, 
And uh, Gary Bennett has joined the ball club. So the Phillies are okay with catching right now as they got Gary Bennett here in a hurry. And Terry Francona said he'd like to get him into some games. Bennett, that is. Over for a strike with a breaking ball. I know you had Gary in the minor leagues. Excellent catch. Luke golf set ball to deep right field. This one's going to go. Just a, just a little too short to pull that one back. Yeah, he wasn't going to get to that one. It looked like he might have hit a changeup, too. Tyler's been throwing a lot of changeups tonight. And Luke hit that low pitch out of here. That's his 10th home run of the year. Dodgers take a one to nothing lead. That's one thing I said at last inning. You start throwing changeups when you can't get. You got three pitches. You're not get to it, getting two of them over. They'll look for the one you're getting over. And I think that's what he did right there. He just sat back. Of course, he likes the ball. Matt Luke likes the ball down and in. Actually likes the ball down, period. That's what it is. Fastball down low, probably out of the strike zone, but middle of the plate, and he just golfs it. Left-handers like that ball down there. And yeah, you can't throw it low enough for a lot of them. So Luke with the home run, giving the Dodgers. Tyler Green will deal to Carlos Perez and at the top of the order, Roger Cedeno and Mark Grasalonic. Perez a big swing and a miss. He struck out his first time up. He has struck out 26 times in 59 at bats this year. And he hurt his shoulder a little bit on that wild swing. Uh, it was a change up. The same thing he did the first first pitches last time up. Tyler threw him a change up. Carlos Perez has hit a couple of major league home runs. Actually he's hit three including one this year. He hit one off Mike Williams one day at Veterans Stadium. Two balls and one strike. Terry Tata going, doing a good job behind the plate as always. Hardly ever notice him back there. He does a good job yep. back. Good ball and strike umpire. He is. I mean, Terry, Terry's one of those guys that, you know, he just does the game and when it's over, you think, oh, Terry Tata was back there. He did another good job. Two balls and two strikes. And the count full at three and two. I think Terry's one of those guys that just is very consistent all the time. Yeah, that's low when he walked him. So Tyler Green walks. Carlos Perez, the lead off the inning. Terry Francona a little upset. And congratulations to Bruce and Kim Watson on the birth of their first child. Rebecca Faith, born yesterday at 10.30, 7 pounds, 1 ounce. Bruce and Kim work with us here on the telecast and have for a lot of years, so we send our best to them. and. Look forward to them getting back on the telecast again next season. Roger Sedania, the batter. He's lined out to Kevin Sessick in right field, grounded out to Mark Lewis at second. Phillies play the infield a double play down. Hit well to left center. That's going to find an open space. Perez, a good athlete, coming around third. Joey Malfitano is going to wave him. Relaford's relay is late. And a double and an RBI for Roger Cedeno. Two to nothing, Dodgers. What made that possible for Carlos Perez to score there is Wendell McGee was playing him way over to the opposite field towards the left field line. And he actually hits this ball well. I'm not sure if it went off the wall or hit the warning track, but he hit it well. Tyler Green gets that fastball up high. Glanville playing him over that way too, but the ball slicing towards the left field side as it hits out there. McGee gets to it and gets it in in a hurry. Carlos Perez, who said, Will's good athlete, runs well. They really had no chance for him at the plate. I mean, that does not look like a pitcher running. No, no offense. No, I I can't agree more. That was a really good base running by Carlos Perez, especially with nobody out, because a lot of times you're going to play it safe. You saying I didn't run like that? Nor do you now. <laughs> Nor will I ever. Now Roland can't get that one. And they're going to wave Sedanu around. McGee's throw is late. Gresselonic safe at second. All kinds of bad things happen in this inning. Three to nothing in favor of the Dodgers. Three straight batters have reached base. Give Gresselonic a single, an RBI, and second on the throw. Wendell makes a good 
throw here. He comes in. He's playing him over the other side a little more, but he comes in, gets it, makes a little hop, and a strong throw to the plate. But just not going to get it with the speed. Now, Gresselonic, as the throw comes in, he sees it, the throw's going in there. He was kind of out in no man's land and went ahead and took off the second and just gets there. Galen Sisko on his way to the mound, and the Phillies' bullpen starting to stir around. You see six hits now for the Dodgers as Gresselonic knocks in his 49th run of the year and his eighth since coming over to the Dodgers. He's been a little bit of a disappointment to them. He's having a good game here tonight with a walk and two singles, and Mike Grace gets up and starts to throw. All right, leadoff walk to the pitcher will kill you just about every time. It, yeah, it's almost always a prescription for trouble. And it's been big trouble. Scott Rowland was playing up then for Grasolonic in case Grasolonic might try to dump a bun. And he had no chance to get that bullet hit by him. As you see, Green at 77 pitches. And not a good ball strike ratio. No, not at all. 42 strikes, 35 balls. And that's, you can't be there. And I, I tell you, the, the one thing that Tyler Green does not have to me is he does not have confidence in his fastball. And he's not getting his knuckle curve over tonight, so he's got one pitch to go to, and that's a changeup. And you go through the lineup one time, and they, these guys are watching. They know from the bench, from the on-deck circle, they know you're not getting things over. Mondes, he got a change up there, looked like, or a breaking ball, and hit it on the end of the bat. Right to Desi on one hop, so Gresselana cannot advance, and Mondes, he's retired for the first out of the inning. I think this might be a knuckle curve he gets from him. It is, and he's it's a good one. Mondes, he loves that first pitch fastball. He gets it right off the end of the bat. Doesn't hit it well, but that's what Tyler Green's got to do is get that knuckle curve over. But he's got to throw fastballs. He's got to use his fastball. Well, they thought he was a little short with his fastball the other night in San Francisco, but he had a good curveball and changeup. He had two pitches. But even if you don't want to throw it for strikes, you have to throw it around the zone sometimes just to just to get him off of your other stuff. Starts Karras with one there, and it's ball one. Harris hit that ball to right field on which Sefsa climbed the wall, made a great play in the first inning, then he grounded into a fielder's choice. Two and oh, base open with Matt Luke on deck, but Luke Homer his last time up, and he's a left-handed hitter. There is Matt Luke playing in right field as Gary Sheffield now out officially for the entire season with a bad ankle. So Luke will get a lot of playing time. That's a wild pitch. Gresselonic moves over to third. The Phillies will have to bring the infield in now with just one out. And the count 3-0 and oh to Karras. Now Tyler has gone to another delivery all of a sudden. Now he's taking that ball out over his knee, which he hadn't done all night done at the last couple pitches and that's the thing that Tyler has got to get to, to a point in his delivery where I mean you say it over and over it's like every week he, he's got to get to a point where he is comfortable and stay with it. That one different again and he walks on ball four. Second walk of the inning. Third of the game. And here comes Matt Luke, and here's what he did last time. Gets a low changeup, real low. He golfs it out to right. Steps it goes back. There's no chance for him to do anything but watch it go about eight rows into the seats. But if, if you're hitting or pitching, and you're you got to think about what you're doing with your mechanics, you don't have much of a chance of being successful. And there's the first pitch changeup, and Luke swings and misses. And Matt Luke with 10 home runs as far as rookies go. He's fifth best. And another swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch, 0-2. So 
like Tyler's knuckle curve here after throwing a first pitch change up. Get the knuckle curve. That's a good one there. Runners at the corner and one away. A couple runs in. And misses with a breaking ball high. One at two. Luke with the Dodgers early in the year, then traded to Cleveland. Didn't stay with Cleveland very long, and Dodgers got him right back. Nubs a change up or a breaking ball off the end of the bat. Foul down the third baseline. But Tyler is staying away from fastballs to Luke in this at bat. Wicked foul down the first baseline. Mark Resolanik on at third base and Eric Karras at first as Terry Francona pacing around in the dugout as his starting pitcher struggling here in the fifth inning. There are the base runners. And still just one out. Got him. Struck out Luke. He was not going to get a fastball to hit Matt at bat. Two away. Right, throws a good change up here. He's got I mean, good, good movement, good mechanics on the change up, and it's it's the one thing I really believe if he could if he would do that same thing with his fastball, just use it, hold the fastball grip and throw the ball, he's going to have more success. But it all comes down to me so much to confidence for the most part, and then you you lose that confidence, and Tyler Green wants to start changing things out on the mound. Adrian Beltre, the batter, he's popped up foul and grounded out takes a breaking ball for a strike so in this inning he started to throw his knuckle curve for strikes as Larry mentioned he had not thrown it for strikes a whole lot prior to this and yet he's gotten hurt in this inning with a couple of runs but it started when he walked the pitcher Carlos Perez and this is with a fastball one and one So he does pull off that fastball. He pulls it across sometimes across his body. And I think it just becomes a thing of just uncertain with it. Breaking ball and swing and a miss. These Dodgers have a lot of guys who swing hard. And they are they are a lineup set up to get out with off-speed stuff. But as you mentioned, you have to have your fastball to set this stuff up. There's a swing. I mean, they do. You're exactly right. And that's, you, but you have to use your fastball to get them to do that. There's a fastball and he misses outside with it two and two. If, even if he doesn't throw his fastball for a strike, if it's that close, you put it in their mind. But if it's not in their mind, then I mean, if you're not close with it, they don't even. It's, it's not even something they think about. Breaking ball and he fouls it off Estelle at the plate and he's done a little bit. Up underneath them, maybe. Oh he no! Toe. I thought the back swing of the helmet. I mean the bat. Is that what got him? I thought he hit his no. foot. Maybe it is. No, right off the tip of the toe, maybe. Oh, you're right, and, and he got hit with the bat. He got a double shot there. He got it off the foot and then, it, then the, the bat hit him. Nice going. Took three replays. Well, here's the back swing, and that didn't look like it hit him there. And there goes Beltre down on strikes. The so Tyler Green recovers, but still gives up two runs in the inning on. Two hits, one costly walk, two walks overall, and it's 3 nothing. Seventh, or they're available now at Veterans Stadium. Here is a drive to deep right field, and Eric Karros has just taken Mike Grace out of the ballpark for his 21st home run of the year. It's now 4 nothing, Los Angeles. It's 
looks like an home run for the Dodgers tonight. And Luke earlier hit one off Tyler Green. Karras flirted with one out there his first time up tonight, and Sessa climbed the wall and made a great play. This one a little bit too high for Kevin Sessa to get to. Grace throws a fastball that was supposed to be away, and it tailed back over the middle of the plate, and Karras just stayed back. Go to American League scoreboard. The Red Sox got a grand slam from Nomar Garcia Parra in the ninth inning to beat Seattle 7-3. Texas beat Detroit 5-3. Rick Helling won that one. White Sox over Baltimore 3-2. They had a two-hour plus rain delay at Yankee Stadium. They're still playing in the eighth inning. Oakland leads 2-0 behind Gil Arabia. Anaheim slugged out Cleveland 13-5. Frank Jeffries had four hits in that ball game. Toronto shot out Kansas City 5-0 behind Kelvin Escobar. And Tampa Bay beat Minnesota 4 to 1. Ken Ryan is the Phillies' new pitcher coming on here in the bottom half of the eighth inning for Mike Grace. Ryan appearing in his 12th game. No wins, no losses. 287 ERA, 15 and two thirds innings, 14 hits, five earned runs. He has struck out 10, walked 14. One strike to Juan Castro. Curve ball. No balls and two strikes to Castro. Bouncing the curveball up there, one and two. Castro is one for three on the night. Two and two. Dodgers on top, 4 nothing here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Astro called out on strikes. Good fastball on the outside corner. That's one down. It'll bring on the pitcher, Carlos Perez, who was struck out, walked and scored a run, and sacrificed. Carlos Perez. strike to Carlos Perez. Low one and one. Carlos is homer this year off Kevin Millwood of Atlanta. His third career home run. To the count to Perez. You know, Yankee Stadium is finally over. Two nothing. The A's beat New York. Depriving the Yankees of their 100th win this season. Gil Aradia pitching a shutout for Oakland. If it could be considered a funk, they they have uh, actually had a little bit of a downturn. The Yankees in the last 10 days. They lost a few games. They lost yeah. two in a row. Angels played them tough. Some other teams have played them tough. So, it was a, you know, sooner or later, they're going to lose a few games. Full count now to Carlos Perez. What they don't want to do, and no team wants to do as good as they've been, is to lose near the end of the season. Yeah. They want to go into those playoffs with momentum. There's some really good teams this year. I mean, the playoffs should be great. There's the Astros are Astros are making a little statement against the Braves lately. They beat them a couple games in Houston. They're beating a couple games in Atlanta. Yeah, they are. 
I mean, Randy Johnson went after him pretty 